I have three bright ideas using paint that I want to share with you and I just finished trying them out in studio. I wanted to try a two-tone color treatment on the walls, refurbish an old dresser and give new life to some thrift store accessories. Again, all using paint. Before I got started, I stopped in at Sherwin-Williams to pick up my paint, my supplies and to talk to their experts to get their advice on how to tackle these projects. So I have this piece that I found and I want to give it new life, but it's MDF. So I'm thinking probably just color. Okay. What should I do to prepare this? Well, the adhesion is going to be paramount here. We need to sand it first, making sure that anything oily or tacky comes off. Ooh, look at that. It's flexible so that you can crumple it in whatever way. Yeah. So if you need to get into spindles, you could really get around there. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I know, I do want it. Refinishing an old piece like this does require a bit of work. To make this dresser look its best, the experts at Sherwin-Williams suggested that I fill the holes and all the gouges and then give it a light sanding all over. Then I would recommend using a really good primer that's going to promote the adhesion for the top coat. I would recommend our multi-purpose primer. This old piece was banged up and dirty when I found it. I like the size and I liked its shape. It looked like an antique, but upon closer inspection, I realized it was made out of MDF, the perfect candidate for painting. The top coat's gonna to be the most important. It's gonna provide a lot of durability, and I would suggest emerald. It's our top in class. What kind of color are you gonna go? What are you looking to do with this afterwards? I'm thinking something in the bluey green tones. Perfect, okay. Have you used our Color Snap app before? I haven't. We can actually take a photo of this dresser, and you can actually play with the colors on there. Oh. Tip, choosing the right paint color and finish for a piece of furniture is key, especially if you're DIYing it yourself. Personally, I prefer using a medium color tone, and I really like this bluey green from Sherwin-Williams called Riverway. It's a beautiful subdued blue-green, which I think works beautifully on a dresser, and it really elevates the piece. And especially in this high-gloss finish, it's going to look very expensive. The coverage on this was excellent, and I think just one more coat should do it. I also changed the hardware, which gave it an updated look. A great way to add interest to walls is by using decorative molding to create a paneled look. Doing this gives you the opportunity to use different colors to bring character and dimension to a room. We used Sherwin-Williams Pussy Willow in an eggshell finish on the wall and a color called Fleur de Sel to emphasize the paneled look. This faux paneling is a great decorating trick and a cost-effective way to achieve a high-end look. Okay, this is my favorite part. Time to reveal. Oh, look at that. Oh, Jason played sports now. <laughs> Tip, use the same color, but change up the finish. Painting the trims in a semi-gloss and the inside area in an eggshell just gives it that extra dimension. It's the paint that will really make this decorative wall treatment sing. And finally, I had a few thrift store accessories that I wanted to bring in to inject a bit of color. I wasn't sure about painting ceramics, but the experts at Sherwin-Williams assured me that it could be done. After washing the vases, I used a high adhesion primer to prep the surfaces and the paint went on very easily. Tip, painting small accessories is a great way to try out adventurous colors. Or if you're like me, you've probably got cans of leftover paint at home and this is a great way to put them to use. For something different, I tried paint dipping this woven box in a color called Tricorn Black. It's a fun technique to use on smaller items and a great way to use up leftover paint. This looks fantastic. It's exactly how I wanted this to turn out. And with the new handles, it gives it that modern feel. It's beautiful. I combined these three paint projects to create a sophisticated space. The two-tone wall was a perfect neutral backdrop for the gorgeous bluey green chest of drawers. I was able to add pops of color with the vases, which looked beautiful against the paneled walls. This was a perfect way to play around with color in a room and give dull furniture new life. I'm thrilled with how this turned out. So go ahead, play around with color. It can completely transform a room. And painting is easy, and it can be fun.